Hey there, guys and gals. This is your host, Joe, live with Yosef, and every bit of road footage I didn't catch this has the KOA um, hanger right in the middle of the screen. Why am I not paying attention? Anyway, this is the beginning of uh, Fall uh, 24 Extravaganza number 2, and we had a pretty full day, which you're going to hopefully enjoy now. I want to point out right here that the guy in the dump truck has his flashers on, not his turn signal to t for him to turn right. Well, I don't know what the hell he's doing. So then when I come out to turn, oh, all of a sudden, oh my God, I need to turn now. He's got the right of way if he had his blinker on, but he didn't have his blinker on. He had his goddamn uh, emergency flashers on. So like, goddamn, who teaches these goddamn idiots how to drive? Dumbass. Good morning, guys and gals. This is your host, Joe, Life with Yosef. If I already didn't articulate that, uh, I never know until I actually do the editing. So um, you saw a little bit of footage of uh, me driving into Hackberry, which is in Arizona. Uh, I want to say it's in Mojave County, but don't hold me to that. I'll look it up and I'll let you know. Now, this is... Really, Hackberry was on the old mother road. Now, the more modern road. Hold on here. Somebody's driving up in, in back of me. You know, you're holding a camera. You look, you know, you're dressed in a shirt. You you probably aren't aren't giving up uh, off stalker vibes. He sees me with a camera. He hears me talking. I, yeah, I wave at him. I wave at everybody. Anyway, I would... I am almost positive that this is the Hackberry School. I don't know a lot about the school or about Hackberry in general. You know me. Why would I look this stuff up and I'm not in cell service out here? Well, why not could just look it up, overdub, do it a little bit better. Sometimes I make six or eight or ten takes. Well, a few takes. Um, my, my mom said once that... I tend to not ramble so much on the overdubs, and she's right. So anyway, I'm at the Hackberry School, and we're going to drive a little bit more through town, and then we're going to get back up onto the newer Mother Road, and I'll talk about that in front of the Hackberry General Store. Our next uh, stop of the day is at the Hackberry General Store. This is on the more modern Mother Road. Uh, the problem for me in some of these uh, places is the problem for me, or the issue, I guess, is that I don't need a plethora of 66 souvenirs. I don't need 40 coffee cups. I don't need shot glasses. I don't have a. I don't need ma you know, maybe magnets, but. Um, I, you know, nobody sells a 4X tall t-shirt. So it's hard for me to buy, really support a lot of these um, businesses. Now, if, you know, if they're selling food or something, that might be something else. But I feel for these uh, people like the uh, like here at the Hackberry General Store. So, right, but it's good to say that there's a lot of people going in and this may or may not be in the Cars movie. God, I don't know. I don't watch movies. But if you recognize this uh, from the Cars movie, you know why. 
I certainly like these old uh, style gas uh, dispensers, or they may be pumps. In the modern ones, the pumps are buried in the ground next uh, to the tank, and what us old fossils call the pump is really the dispenser. I'm also going to point out that the guy that invented this ethyl, it's lead. He, he's responsible for more deaths than I think maybe any, any single human being in the history of the United States. And I'll, uh, somewhere down here, I'll, I'll, I'll look this up and we'll talk about him. Now I'm going to point out right here that I've redesigned my card to go with the travel trailer and I've updated the YouTube address and I decided to buy some stickers. Now I bought the cards from Vistaprint and the stickers I couldn't get sized right. I bought some anyway. I didn't like them. Uh, I, don't, I only gave one away to Vin and Vin when you watch this I've got a new one for you. So um, Nathan from Reverend 3 has stickers, and then Vin had stickers made up special for his, uh, his Alaska uh, extravaganza. So I decided, yeah, what the hell, they're like a 80 cents a piece. Okay, it's not like I'm going to stick them everywhere, but when you see a million other stickers, it's, I think it's a safe assumption that, you know, you could extrapolate reasonably safely that uh, you could put yours here too. So here mine is. I think we're done here in Hackberry. I'm gonna definitely <laughs> sip on my big cup. I'm a little bit more prepared today, uh, so we'll uh, we'll get back in the car and we'll, or in the locomotive and we'll see what's next. On my way out here in Hackberry, I'm gonna take a couple of quick shots of cards. Uh, this is a uh, Chevrolet uh, a Biscayne. Uh, I don't think it's a police special. It's got the 283. Uh, I don't think so, but still, you know, I love old cars like this, so. Here you go, Chevy Biscayne, the uh, lower uh, model, uh, lower trim level. Here's a Mercury, uh, a Mercury commuter station wagon. These last two are DeSotos, and the one on the left has the Fire Dome badge, and I'm almost sure that uh, 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 designates the Fire Dome motor. Our next, our next stop of the day, and I thought that somebody had bought this and was sticking some money into it, but maybe I'm wrong, and I'm fairly sure we're in Valentine, but I'm, I'm going to have to look that up. Anyway, I belong to a Facebook page that is old, or abandoned gas stations, so I, I subscribe to a lot on, on, on Facebook. So this is where we're stopped right here. Bert's Country Dancing is right across the street, but I don't think there's going to be any of that anytime soon. So, here we go. Well, like I thought, there ain't no dancing in Bert's Country Dancing. About 100 yards down the road, I like this Ford right here. Uh, is uh, another uh, abandoned station. This one has an address, 126, 12626 East Highway 66 in Valentine. There's a YouTube sign for YouTube Valentine Station, which if I remember, you know my memory's oatmeal, but we got Valentine Station and Chevron Gasoline. You see the 76 I was just at a little bit ago. I'm going to continue to pan here. Uh, life has not been kind to these people, especially since Interstate 40 opened. Uh, and, uh, this looks like a motel that burned down. You just see a lot of abandonment here. They don't look to be open, but uh, they do have a, uh, a little sign here, YouTube Valentine Station. So I'm going to say it's 
uh, the A sign at Valentine Station, and I'm going to look that up, <laughs> assuming I remember. Come on, dude, pay attention. And over here is one more about the YouTube. So we're pretty much almost done here. We're done right here at Valentine Station, and we'll see what's next. Our next stop in Valentine. I don't quite know what this building is. It looks like somebody's house, but... Um, this is on the lot with the val or next to the Valentine School, and this is the historic Valentine School. Again, I don't know a whole hell of a lot about it, but the magic of uh, internet and overdubbing on road footage may or may not allow me to fill you in a little more on this. There's a sign down here for uh, a tribal a court a court. So I'm extrapolating that I am on somebody's sovereign tribal land. It might be the Havasupai. And we'll, when we get to Peach Springs, I'll probably be able to verify that or, or else and correct myself. So here's our 360. I may let dude out here for a second. I'm already starting to fade, but you know, we're going to plug on through. So we'll see what's next. Our next stop of the day finds us in Truxton. And here we go. I'm changing hands here. This is the Frontier Motel and Restaurant, which does not appear to be open. There is a motel up the street that I didn't get pulled over in time that is also closed. The uh, street sign right in front of the motel here calls this the Will Rogers Highway, which is also... I've seen the mother road called this. Will Rogers, uh, born in Oklahoma, was a big proponent of the mother road and US 66. So here's Truxton Station. Again, not open. Probably not even gonna pull in to the, to the here's the gas station. Then you see the Truxton Cafe, another gas station, all closed. When I-40 opened, savaged this entire stretch of roadway. So we'll see what's next. About 25 after 12 finds us in Peach Springs. Peach Springs is the capital of the Havasupai, Havasupai sovereign, sovereign Tribal Nation. There's a Best Western here. I think I looked it up and they charge like a lot of money. You see across the railroad tracks here is a little bit more to town. And then there's a, an elementary school right here up the hill. But this gas station here... And I'll have to remind myself of what this is called and why it's important, but it is. So I'm going to pose right here. I've got a, a, a little film of me on Jolene here that I may or may not uh, um, bonus a footage in after this. But here we are, Pete Springs, and we'll see what's next. Our next stop about five or ten minutes after five in the afternoon on the 28th of March of 2022, finds us in Peach Springs, Arizona. And Peach Springs is the headquarters, capital of the sovereign nation of the Hulapai tribe. And I'm gonna get this here, right here. 
go. <laughs> Gotta have the bike in it too. The sign says, welcome to the Hualapai Nation, so I still haven't been saying it right. Jesus, dude, you really are having a struggle. <sighs> anyway, now we're going to press on. Now, as we're driving by the Grand Canyon Caverns, I'm going to link in the, in the description to Steve from Sidetrack Adventures. He stayed here in the hotel room in one of the caves where when you turn the lights off, you have to take an elevator down. And when you are in the room and, the, and you turn the lights off, it is literally as pitch black as is humanly possible on Earth. So we'll see what's next. I'm in the back of Del Delgadillo snow cap, and I'm going to talk about this in the front, but Juan Delgadillo, uh, Jesus, dude, the fumble mouth, Delgadillo built the snow cap here in 1953. Here I am across the street from the snow cap, and it's pretty busy today. The last time I was here was in uh, early April after 5 o'clock, and this town and rolled up the wind uh, the uh, sidewalks so as you can see here in October on a warm day in a tour bus uh, a lot of people a lot of people here money being spent so uh, the founder of the snow cap is really responsible for an awful lot of the resurgence of the mother road in US 66 I'm doing the same thing. Look at the poppers. Oh, you sweet pops. These wonderful people from Arizona are from Tennessee, as you'll see walking across the street and walking up. Um, watch me film their car. Uh, I, uh, they had their motor running and their uh, pup inside in the air conditioning. And so I walked up and told them I was uh, doing the same thing. And I guess I didn't scare the bejesus out of them because we had a really pleasant three-minute interaction they're from Tennessee and though they suffered no damage from the hurricane uh, they know people who have and I basically told them it was an absolute catastrophe of biblical proportions and I really feel for these uh, people who are just in such a world of hurt nevertheless these were kind wonderful people we chit-chatted and I basically, after this, I got on the Interstate 40, and you'll see some handheld, and we'll see what's next.